Hey guys, it's Shayla. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see by the title, this video is going to be a cruise vlog. So right now we are at the airport. We already went through TSA and everything. And we are just waiting on our flight. Right now it is 4.08 and our flight leaves at 555 and we are flying southwest and this is after all of the holiday cancellations and delays but it's okay because we're gonna have a good flight we're not gonna have any cancellations or delays at all we're gonna get on when we're supposed to get on so yeah that is what we're doing right now I have my Starbucks this time I got a iced white chocolate mocha with um, sweet cream cold foam and caramel drizzle and it's pretty good the caramel drizzle was around the cup and not on top like it's supposed to be because you know it was the tiktok drink but i will update you guys when we're getting ready to leave or i don't know i might update you guys on the plane so i'll see you in a little bit so we are about to get on the plane we are just waiting for them to call our seats i don't think i told you guys where we're going we are going to houston to um then drive to galveston tomorrow morning um we're staying with my mom tonight my mom and my sister so we're on our way to houston thank you So we just landed in Houston and we are on our way to baggage claim. Um, it was a really short flight, so it was only like two hours. Um, but yeah, I'll update you guys when we leave. So we are at Target. I had to come and get a tripod for the crew so I can prop you guys up. <laughs> and my aunt is looking for a swimsuit. So this is a huge Target, by the way. We are in Pearl in Texas and this Target is huge. Okay, so update, we came to Walmart because Target was sold out of tripods. So. We're gonna see if they have one here. If not, I'm just going to have to thug it out. <laughs> okay guys, so it is currently 1.30 a.m. I didn't find a tripod, so I'm just gonna have to hold my phone for the rest of the trip, but that's fine. Um, so in the morning, we leave for Galveston at around 10 a.m. because our boarding time is 12 to 12.30, so yeah i'm so excited i will see you guys in the morning okay guys good morning we are all loaded up and we are about to head out to galveston so let's go We are officially in Galveston at the port. If you come here, make sure you keep your boarding passes out because you're gonna need them all the way until you get onto the ship. So we just got done doing all the check-in stuff. And now we are going down the gangway to board the ship. We made it, you guys. We are on the 
Okay guys, so we just made it into our room. We ended up having to go back to our muster station because no one checked us in for the first time that we went. So they just checked us in and we came straight here. So I'm about to show you guys what the room looks like. Okay, so this is what our hallway looks like. And this is our door. We are in room 2465. We are all the way at the back of the ship actually. We have our little entryway. And then when you walk in, this is the bathroom. We have our shower here. It's way bigger than Royal Caribbean, so I like that. The toilet, our mirror here. We have towels, soap. Then over here, we have our life jacket and our closets. We have a lot of closets actually. Hangers. Another closet. <laughs> and another closet and it has extra linens and stuff down here. And then we also have our own little sink and tub room. So we have tub right here, mirror, and another sink, which is really cool. I've never, well, I've only been on one cruise so far. Um, this would be my second one, but we have a two bathroom room. Then we have our big mirror right here and everything about our cruise, our get to know, our QR directory and everything, phone, notepad over there. We have some water and glasses, our TV right here, remote, and then this is our beds and our window. We did get an ocean view cabin this time. Um, on the other cruise, we got a balcony cabin and right now we just have a view of the port and we also have this couch right here that zayo is sitting on <laughs> and some artwork so this is a pretty good room um we have a lot of space in here which is really good okay guys so it looks like we are pulling away don't mind me i'm just sitting in the window <laughs> We are pulling away from the dock. So right now we are at the Cloud Nine Spa for the $500 spa raffle. And it is so many people here. They are literally packing people into the gym. So we're waiting for it to start. It's supposed to have already started, but it is still a lot of people here still coming in. So. We're gonna wait hopefully I win um, it's a $500 spa credit so everybody can use that so sadly we didn't win the raffle but look at this you guys crazy So now we are in the buffet. We're just sitting here waiting on the next event to start. Carnival has an app where you can see all the events that are going on and you can go to those events. They have the times that they are. So we just came from the $500 spa raffle and the next one you go there and you get a free charm bracelet. So that's the one we're waiting for right now. Um, and we're just, getting some drinks, getting some ice cream, and relaxing.
Y'all look at this line for the bracelets. I'm pretty sure it wraps all the way around. That's crazy. We are now headed to our dinner at the Scarlet Restaurant. Alright, we are at dinner and we're just waiting for them to come and take our order. Okay, so for my appetizer, I got the shrimp cocktail. Zayo got the fried calamari, and my aunt got the Caesar salad. So for my drink, I got the apple teeny, and Zayo got the kiss on the lips. And my aunt. <laughs> so for dinner, I got the um, chicken parmigiana and it looks really good. My aunt got the vegetable lasagna and Zayo also got the chicken parmigiana. So for dessert, I got the strawberry cream. My niece Milani got the ice cream. My aunt got, what did you get? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. And Zayo also got tiramisu, but they forgot. So they brought her a melting cake instead, but they're bringing her a tiramisu. And I really wanted to try that too. So yeah, I'm excited about this. Okay, so we are back in the room now from dinner. It was really good. We are just kind of chilling right now before we find another thing to do. There is a few like clubs going on tonight and two comedy shows. We're not sure if we're gonna go to those cause we're kind of tired right now, but we'll see what happens later. It's currently 7.39. And I forgot to show you guys the um, charm bracelet that we got. The charm bracelet was free, but it came with five charms and they were five for $10. So it's a little pack of charms. I only wanted two of the charms that it came with. So I gave the other three to my mom um, and I kept these two. And tomorrow they're also doing another free charm event. Every day there's a new charm that you can get for your bracelets. So I'll be going back there tomorrow to get the other charm. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys later. So we are on our way to a singles mixer in the alchemy bar. So I will let you guys know when we get there. So we're taking a shortcut through the arc and now I need to win an Among Us character. <laughs> they don't have Cyan though. <gasps> and they have Grogu's. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Wow. This is crazy. I like this arcade a lot better than the one on Royal Caribbean. I just feel like there's more games. So it's pretty dead down here. We are at the Carnival Fun Hub computers and we're trying to get some banking information switched over so after this we're about to go downstairs or upstairs and walk around and explore um, and then head back to the room to go to sleep for tomorrow Y'all, look at how crazy this is. 
that is pitch black. I'm scared. So this is the seafood shack. They have like crab legs, lobster, stuff like that. They have a pool and jacuzzi over here. This is the line for the pizza, which is actually open until 4 a.m. So we're at the deli right now and they have hot and cold sandwiches. Um, I think I might get the buffalo chicken too. It looks good. Oh, okay. All right, so we just got some sandwiches. We got a BLT and a buffalo chicken sandwich, and this is what they look like. This is the buffalo chicken, and this is the BLT. All right, you guys, that is the end of embarkation day on the Carnival Dream. And I will see you guys in the morning for day two. Hey guys, so it is day two on, you cannot see my, okay. It is day two on the Carnival Dream. We just woke up and got ready. Um, we are about to head out. I think we're gonna go to this little scavenger hunt at the shops on deck five. Um, there is this little thing that the tour director is doing on deck three that we also wanted to go to, but I don't know. We're just going to leave the room and see where we end up. So let's head out. This is the back of the ship. This is really beautiful. Wow. So this is the scavenger hunt that we're doing. We're just stopping by all of these shops and getting a signature and then we drop it in for a raffle to win prizes. This is our tour director, Mark Q. He's really funny. So we just got back into the room and we have a friend on the bed. <laughs> I don't know what he's supposed to be. I think maybe like a bunny, a rabbit or a pig. He's long. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like he's laying on his side. <laughs> is he a dog? He might be a dog. He's a dog. I don't know. I'll ask my day what he is. <laughs> but yes, our room is clean. We just got back from this shopping event. Zael is putting sunglasses on him. And now he's a cool though. What should we name him? Douglas. <laughs> if he's a dog, he's Douglas the dog. Tell me what you think he is in the comments. <laughs> Okay, so for lunch, I got the same thing as I got yesterday from Guy's, the Ringer Burger. It's so good, you guys. Zael so got her own special made pasta, and everyone else just got stuff from the buffet. So we are now heading to get a drink from the bar. It looks pretty full over here, though. So. Oh, a fish! <laughs> It's like $15, watch. Look at this fish. 
I want that. Here's the front of that creepy statue we were looking at last night. So I got a strawberry mango margarita and Zayo got the fish. They only had one fish left, so I just got a normal cup, but it is really good. So we are now on deck 12. This is the top deck with the water slides and an amazing view. We're super close to the big bin up here. And here is the mini golf course. The wind is crazy right now. I'm seven one and you <laughs> here is the basketball court right behind the fin. Now we are at the front of the ship in the Serenity Lounge and Spa, and it is 21 and over up here. So adults only. So this is the Cloud Nine Spa, which is passing through here. It's very calming. And we have the hairdresser here, the salon. It's giving me very much a fitness studio. We have the Japanese kind of vibes. Oh wow. We have the spiral staircase. This is where the elevator comes. Okay guys, so we are at formal night. I was running late. We literally just sat down. Um, so I didn't get to show you guys what we're wearing. But right now, I'm about to show you guys what we will be eating tonight. So for my drink, I got a mocha chocolate getaway. It looks really good. It has whipped cream on top and it comes with a chocolate edible straw. And Zayo got a sex on the beach. My aunt got a Pepsi again. <laughs> Um, and all of their frozen drinks come with a different flavor edible straw so these are really good too so for my appetizer I got the Caesar salad Zayo got stuffed mushrooms and crab cake and my aunt got a Caesar salad as well and carnival and Royal Caribbean they do let you do multiple appetizers and desserts I believe so so for dinner, I got the jumbo shrimp, and it comes with potatoes and some kind of lettuce. Um, Zayo got teriyaki salmon, and my aunt got chicken alfredo, or no, chicken fettuccine. Yeah. Dessert. I got the Grand Marnier Souffle with vanilla sauce. Zayo and my aunt both got the melting chocolate cake. So we bought limoncello shots and we get to keep the little carnival shot glass. Let's do it. 
Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> We are at the piano bar and we're about to take some pictures. Wow, look at the moon. That is amazing. So right now I am on deck 10 watching Jurassic World. Um, it's the new Jurassic World movie. So I'm just out here by myself. This is a really pretty setting right now. <laughs> to Costa Maya. It is the morning of day three and we see two other cruise ships right here and you can see like a little ruin all the way over there. So for breakfast slash lunch I got this burrito that I made from the blue iguana and some lemonade with limes and cilantro. Are done eating and now we are about to head off the boat to Costa Maya. So we are next to a Norwegian ship and the dream. This looks so cool. Here is a virgin ship right here and another carnival ship right here. So pretty. This is a very long, long walk. Very long port to get back to the boat. Oh my God. So many people in this port and it's really hot outside too. <laughs> Have the dolphin pool right here guys look at this lizard he's just chilling okay so we are on this little beach right by the dock and there's a bar over here and a little saltwater pool so we're about to get in here because the only beach that you can actually get in the water is 10 minutes away um, with a taxi so we're just gonna get in this pool and then go to the actual beach tomorrow So this is the pool we were in. They have chairs, cabanas, and the ships are right over there. Day three in Costa Maya is complete. So we are back in the room from Costa Maya and we have a new friend on the bed. 
I named him Krusty. <laughs> He's a little crab. And we also got matching bracelets. Well, they're not matching bracelets, but we got bracelets in Costa Maya with our names on it. We also got some souvenirs, which we had to leave with customs when we got back onto the ship. So they're gonna deliver that to us on the last day of the cruise. So tonight we are dining at Bonsai Sushi. So to drink, we both got the sake sangria. This is what she recommended to us. Is it good? <laughs> so here we have some miso soup with tofu, I believe. I've never had miso and I've never had tofu. Guys, look how beautiful this sushi boat for two is. It has a shrimp tempura roll. A uh, is it a California roll? No. California roll and salmon nigiri, tuna nigiri, and shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> and this is a side salad. So these are the green tea cupcakes. The meal was delicious, by the way. Um, so now we are about to go to the arcade and go to a free liquor tasting. Liquor tasting. I think it's Johnny Walker. They shouldn't do this. How do you feel? It's not that bad. And? This is okay. Okay. They're lying to you. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Shayla from the future here. I hope you're enjoying this cruise vlog so far, but since this is a travel video, I just wanted to hop in and tell you guys about EF Ultimate Break. And no, this isn't sponsored, but if you're watching travel videos, I really feel like you guys should know about them. EF Ultimate Break is a travel agency for anyone ages 18 to 35, and they specialize in international travel. They have over 65 trips that go all around the world, and it's literally the easiest way to travel for any young adult. The reason why I love EF Ultimate Break so much is because they cover everything under one price. You literally pay that one price and go. They cover your hotels, your flights, your ground transportation, your tour directors, your excursions, anything you can think of, they cover it all under one price. And the best part is they offer easy, flexible payment schedules that you can pay up to a year until your trip. I have my full experience with them linked up here if you guys wanna go check it out. Also, I have some travel videos from London, Paris, and Rome that I will also link if you guys wanna check those out. They are literally the best travel agency ever and I will travel with them until I can't anymore. <laughs> if this sounds like something you would like, check them out at the link in the description and I have a promo code that you guys can use also for a hundred dollars off of your first trip with them so yeah those links will be below I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one hey guys so it is day four today we are going to Belize we just ate breakfast um and we are about to head out to um the little water shuttle that's going to take us to Belize. So I will update you guys when we get on.
We are the only people that bring their cat a souvenir. Okay guys, so we just got back onto the cruise ship from Belize. Belize was actually pretty cool. Um, it was very colorful, um, mostly everyone was nice, and I did get to buy some local things. I got some honey from Belize. I got this cool tie-dye Belize shirt. I'll show it to you guys later. And yeah, Belize was pretty cool overall. And I really liked the little boat that we took from the ship to the island so yeah we are back on the boat we're about to go swimming and we also have a new friend on our bed we decided to name him trunks <laughs> and this is what he looks like so adorable and you can also see the little ship over there i think this one was actually in uh, Costa Maya with us yesterday but the water looks so nice and blue and it got really hot today so yeah make sure you prepare for that if you are ever in Belize so now we are headed to get some lunch and then we are headed to the pool So we just left um, swimming and now we are headed to dinner. Um, it was very relaxing out there. We are leaving Belize. I think, I don't feel the boat moving, but someone said that we're moving. So yeah, tomorrow we will be on our way to Cozumel. So we are at dinner now and I got the Caprice salad, which is very pretty. And Zayo got the steamed mussels. My aunt got a Caesar salad. So for the main, I got the chicken poulet. It's stuffed with spinach. And Zayo got the chicken with chimichurri. And my aunt got the barbecue spare ribs. <laughs> We got um, the apple pie. My aunt got the chocolate cake. She says it's really good. She's gotten it like all the nights we've been here. <laughs> and I also got a cheese plate that's on the way. And here is my cheese plate. We're cheersing again. Cheers. Delightful. That is really good. That is really good. <laughs> We're going to a silent disco right now.
So we just came from the silent disco. It was really fun. We made a friend, as you can see in the previous video. And now we are on our way to get some pizza. Just got back to our room and we just realized we need to run back out. But after that, we're going to sleep for the night. That's the end of day four. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day five in Cozumel. Good morning guys, it is day five. We are headed off the boat to Cozumel and we are gonna get some food there. So we skipped breakfast this morning. Um, but yeah, let's head off the boat. I woke up this morning and this was all I saw out the window. This is the Carnival Paradise and guys, this is terrifying. This boat is huge next to us i literally opened the window and closed it back but here is the pier that we walked down to get to cozumel All right guys, so we just got back to the room from Cozumel. Cozumel was really fun. They have a lot of shops. Um, we did go and sit down. Um, we were gonna get some food, but they were kind of expensive. Three Amigos, they were kind of expensive. But we did get a free drink from them. Um, so make sure you go to the shopping expos or where they talk to you about like the shopping in the different ports, because they do give you free like coupons and stuff. We get a little monkey hanging from our ceiling. That is so cool and creative. What are we gonna name him? Marley the monkey. Marley the monkey adorable so now we're going to head up to the Lido deck and hopefully get some food um because we didn't buy anything at the restaurant we just got some churros and our tequila sunrise so we're hungry and we're about to go eat so for lunch i got chili fries from guys and a blue iguana burrito so guys we just got back to the room not too long ago from eating lunch and now we're about to take a nap because we're tired i don't think we're gonna go to dinner tonight um but yeah i will update you guys when we wake up and if we get into anything else so it is now 12 o'clock and we just woke up and now we're getting pizza So we're back in the room. We are about to go explore the ship because we are bored and now we're up because we slept all evening. This is what I bought in Cozumel today. I bought two kinds of Mexican chocolate that I really wanted to try. This one is white chocolate and this one is cinnamon chocolate. So I'm very excited about this one. Um, I don't know why I really wanted some 
Mexican chocolate to take home. So can't wait to try it. So we are exploring the ninth floor right now. We have made it to the seventh floor and people decorate their doors. Happy birthday. Good morning guys. It is our last day on the boat. I did not update you guys last night. We just walked around and explored. Got some pizza and went back to the room and went back to sleep. So now we're at breakfast. I just got done eating. The boat has been really rocky this morning. Um, it was like the captain was speeding or something. But yeah, we are about to well my family went to go find something to eat so we're about to sit here for a minute and then um we're supposed to go swimming today but it is kind of cold outside so i don't know what we're gonna do but yeah i will update you guys with what we get into so we are in ocean view plaza on the fifth floor and we are going to try to get some guys pig and anchor I didn't know this was out here. I didn't even know if it was on the boat or not, but this is the line for it. So hopefully it's really good. So we are in the library and we are about to play a board game. Um, they have different books in here that you guys can read. And I don't know how I missed this as many times as we walked by here. <laughs> So we just left the library. Um, the boat is so rocky right now. And they said that we are experiencing some very strong winds. So I wasn't feeling well. So I came back to the room to lay down. Um, and since today is the last day, they gave us a little thank you note from our room attendants and made a little towel heart. It's very adorable. So yeah, I will let you guys know if I do anything else. Um, but for right now, I'm going to lay down until the boat stops rocking. I don't know if you guys can tell how big these waves are, but they are big. And just looking at them is making me feel sick. <laughs> so hopefully that stops um, after a little while and the boat goes back to normal. But for right now, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so we slept the day away again and now we are about to head to dinner in the dining room for the last time. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys what I get down there. So for appetizer, I got the marinated chicken tenders and I also got the peach soup and I will show you guys what it looks like when it comes. My aunt got the Caesar salad and Zaya got the chicken tenders too. This is what the peach soup looks like. So for my main, I got the grilled chicken and Zayo got some pasta with mussels and calamari and my aunt got the enchilada. <laughs> And this is what I got for dessert. It is baked Alaska. And Zayo got the fruit plate. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We just cut a strawberry and put it in here. But it smells good. <laughs> it's vodka. We know that. Vodka and cranberry juice. And peach snap. to leave the room and head out to a show they're doing like a 90s themed show or an 80s themed show i forgot 90s. 90s themed show so we're gonna head out to that um and we're gonna go meet with my family
show we um hung out with my family a little bit and then we went and got some ice cream and sandwiches for the last night and yeah now we're just packing to get ready to get off of the boat in the morning we do have to be out at 8 30 we have to be out of the room um so we're just getting packed and everything so yeah you guys that is it for our last full day on the ship i will see you guys in the morning for checkout okay you guys it is our last morning on the carnival dream and we are about to leave our stateroom we are back in galveston I don't know if you guys can see back there. We're back in Galveston. And this cruise, I would give it a four out of 10. <laughs> I wouldn't sail on the dream again, um, just because it was so much going on. But yeah, what would you give it? A two out of 10, a two. We had a fun time on here regardless of everything that was going on. But yeah, that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.